Fifi's undercover dating. Fifi Box was completely transformed by a professional prosthetics makeup artist. Fifi is gone, and Sophie is here. For me right now, I'm sitting here. I've never felt more unattractive. Fifi is about to go on a series of dates with her looks and fame taken away from her. It's quite hard to go through a dating experience when people know who you are or they have preconceived notions of you or they know what you look like. It's a really exciting opportunity to sit opposite somebody and them know nothing about me. Fifi's Undercover Dating. Hi, I'm Damien. Um, I'm 36 years old. I am a business development manager for an online uh, store which sells satellite mobile phones and satellite mobile phone equipment. I was a halfway decent tennis player as a junior and um, that's what led me to move to the US um, to pursue a uh, college scholarship. I've been single now for about probably close to five years since I moved back to Australia. Uh, my last relationship ended by text message. Um, I messaged uh, the, lady, the girl I was dating at the time, uh, when are we catching up next? And the response back was, uh, I can't do this anymore. For me, I just would like to meet somebody that I become friends with, because I think uh, you've got to have that common grounds. Looks-wise, I don't really have uh, anything to that I am overly you know, it has to be this way or it has to be that way. Um, tall, short, uh, doesn't really worry me. Hair colour doesn't really worry me. Just somebody that I really get along with. I am going to walk into these dates and I am going to have to really work hard at getting these guys' attention and, and seeing if any of them will like me. I don't think one of them will walk out saying, I'd like to see her again. And it's a shame. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Is it Damien? Yes. I'm Sophie. Pleased to meet you, nice Sophie. Nice to meet how are you, you today? too. Ah, so this is uh, interesting. This is different. A <laughs> very interesting, yes. I bet. Are you from Melbourne? Are you? I am from Melbourne, oh, so eastern suburbs, Ringwood. Oh, so, oh, I grew up in Wonga Park. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I used to play tennis at Wonga Park. Oh, I some friends in that no area. Way. Yeah. I play tennis at Wonga Park. So, what are you looking for in a lady? That is the, the, <laughs> the big million question, dollar question, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> so, I'm going straight to the chase. Yeah, no, um, all in all, just somebody that I feel a really good connection with. Yeah. Uh, we make good conversation. Yeah. Um, basically, somebody you're really good friends with because there's going to yeah. be good times, going to be bad times. Exactly. You need that friendship base where you can have honest, real conversations. Yes. And then hopefully, yeah, the, the love and everything else yeah. blossoms and grows from there. It's a really good attitude. So, it's a really good way of approaching it. Well, yeah, it's uh, in this day and age with computers and social media yeah. and everybody constantly connected to I know. Yeah, their, their phones, yeah. for example. Yeah. Just, got to be real. You do. You keep so it simple. Hard. Then there's less and less avenues, I feel like, to right. actually meet a genuine person and, and have a real conversation. Yeah. Well, Damien was lovely. That was, what a great guy. What a great catch. Really, really nice. And the conversation was really easy. And I didn't think, I didn't feel like he was judging me on my looks at all. I feel very uh, out of my comfort zone. And I don't feel at all attractive. But he he didn't make me think about it. I, it, it yeah, it was nice. That was really good. Um, she seems very lovely. So I don't think there was that initial. Oh my gosh, she is amazingly beautiful. But at the same time, I was not deterred by her looks. I actually found, yeah, that moment, that first initial interaction, to be very positive. And um, yeah, I found her to be yeah cute. Straight into conversation, there was no. Um, I guess lulls or downtime. It was free flowing conversation. So I don't know. I, I felt very easy around her, and I think she felt easy around me. And personality wise, I think that's that's a good thing. You just went on a date with Sophie, but there's something you don't know. You just went on a date <laughs> with Fifi Box. Oh, there you go. Hi, David. <laughs> how are you doing? Good. How are you? Not too bad. Oh God, hopefully you feel better. 
So, no, nah, that was a very you, interesting. I was like, I straight know. into it. You were so lovely and so nice to me. <laughs> I know. Blown away right now. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. What have I learned from undercover dating? Um, well, I guess to anyone out there who's ever felt bad about themselves or felt judged or insecure, know this, that confidence is key. Remember what really matters is who you are and not how you look and only give your time to people who value you too. Fifi's Undercover Dating.